Hi everyone, I'm very excited to talk about a new John Lennon item. Well, I say new, but it's been around since uh, most of 2019, I'm guessing. But I only found out about it thanks to Matthew Street, my friend here on YouTube. Uh, he makes Beatles videos also. And uh, he was uh, the first one that I recall that actually got a hold of this item and started showing it to everybody in one of his videos. And I was so amazed by it that I said, I have to order it. And I ordered it immediately. So thank you, Matt, very much for alerting all us other Beatle fans to this. And it's from the U.S. Postal Service. And it's a John Lennon, well, it looks like an album, but it's not actually an album. I think it's called a Portfolio. or uh, There's a lot of names I've seen for this. The John Lennon Portfolio, John Lennon Stamp Album, all kinds of things. And you'll see what it is. It looks like a record album. It really isn't. It's a nice design. Uh, it's, the very cover here, as you can see, the front is just like the postage stamp. That's the image that's on the postage stamp of, of John from the post office. But you can see already some of you sharp fans are seeing that the cutouts here are very reminiscent of the John Lennon Walls and Bridges album cover. And just like that, you can flip these around. And you can make different faces. As we reveal a black and white classic shot of Jonathan Eat there. You know? And I like that this is in the style of the Walls and Bridges album. Kind of like a nod to that. Um, the back of it has some words written here. But you can't really see them that well. You have to have the right angle. And it says the writer the activist, and the legend on there. Okay. Um, this is the first time that I'm looking at it myself, my copy, because all I've done so far is it came with cellophane. I took that off. Uh, so I don't, I'm going to just take the inside out here. Uh, this is the first time I'm looking at it. We're doing it together here. And it looks like a record album, right? Although it's not really a record album. And, you know, Matthew Street made note that this is something that it's probably going to be a limited run. Probably something that will become, I'm guessing, and he's guessing, a sought-after collector's item after a while. So it, it's really a good idea to try to get a hold of this if you want it. Uh, order it online from the United States Postal Service store or a catalog now, when you take this out, it's weird because it certainly looks like a record. I wonder if you can play it. Has anybody tried to play it? It looks like, you know, it looks like you can play it because there's grooves on, on there. Uh, this side doesn't have anything. Um, you may say I'm a dreamer, it says, but I'm not the only one on the back. And I so say you could barely really make that out here on the camera. Okay. Um, but over here on the side, we have photos. And it talks about John the writer. Over there. And just as it says in the back... Well, it shows you the stamps I noticed first. Postage stamps. It's kind of a little booklet here. Uh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the back. So, yeah, you may say, <laughs> you may say, I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I'm sorry. I didn't get to the first page. That's the first page. I, I went ahead of you. They're kind of sticking together here. Then you have the writer, the one I just showed you. But boy, it's really hard to. I don't want to hurt anything. The legend is there. But what I'm wondering is, where's the activist part? These are really sticking together. The writer is the activist. <laughs> War is over if you want it. And it, it, it's a nice little booklet. A nice little uh, tribute. The newest stamps in the Music Icon series honor singer-songwriter John Lennon. And, you know, as I say, this might, must have been out for most of 2019. 
Uh, these are actually uh, actually stamps. I didn't realize that. I thought this was a uh, what is this? The artwork for these stamp these stamps features a photograph of John Lennon taken by noted rock and roll photographer Bob Gruen in August of '74. Uh, this looks like wow. I don't want to disturb it too much. They're not actual stamps, but they look like they're artwork. The stamp pane is designed to resemble a vintage 45 RPM sleeve. They're talking about the actual stamps, which I have. But, but anyway, getting away from the point. This is a pretty cool item to have. I like the way it's made like a record. It comes in, in a sleeve. And uh, if you want to get this, folks... Run out there and, and get it while you can, because I don't know how limited these are. And they must have been available through 2019, because uh, whenever the stamps came out, th this was apparently uh, offered as well. It's funny, because the Postal Service never said anything about this being available. That, that's the Postal Service for you. <laughs> right? Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you again, Matt, for the heads up.